was attacked and that the perp is Bigfoot. He claims it was a tall, hairy beast throwing rocks. And according to this man, it's not his first close encounter with Sasquatch. Lindsay's back with this bizarre story. No, of course no, it wasn't. wasn't. No, we're not. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lindsay. This is what we give you for your birthday. I appreciate it again. It's one thing to claim to have seen Bigfoot once. It's quite another to have claimed to have spotted him several times. Three times is a charm for this central Pennsylvania man who says he's been looking for the mythical creature his whole life. This time, he says, he got a little too close for comfort. Police in central Pennsylvania are investigating an alleged vandal in these woods, but this is no ordinary criminal. This one's tall, hairy, walks hunched over, and goes by the name of Sasquatch. That's according to John Reed, who claims he saw a Sasquatch walk past his motorhome window while camping with his girlfriend. What I saw was something walk by the window, kind of like this, but I could not see a full thing. It, to me, it looked like it might have been going like this, but the, the top of the head and the shoulders were about here. Reed says the creature threw rocks at his mobile home's outside light to escape discovery. Reed gave chase, jumping into his truck alongside his girlfriend. The two even made special Bigfoot calls in an effort to locate the creature. And as soon as I did it, something stood up on her side of the truck. Something stood up, she's seen the eyes glaring in the light of the truck. Stood up and walked, went up this way into the woods. Reed, a self-described Bigfoot tracker since the age of 10, says the latest sighting is actually his third. He's also the founder of the Lycans Valley Sasquatch Hunters. After the incident, he posted to the group's Facebook page, Do I believe in Bigfoot? Yes, I do. Have I had sightings of what I believe to be Bigfoot? Yes. Reed's Bigfoot encounter left his motorhome with smashed taillights and windows. And while police believe it may have been vandals, for John Reed, it was a warning from the Sasquatch to get off his territory.